The Israel-Palestine conflict has claimed 128 journalists' lives, mostly Palestinians, in what the Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, calls the deadliest period for the press, amid severe risks from airstrikes and targeted attacks. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, recently released intelligence documents alleging that six Al Jazeera journalists in Gaza are operatives for Hamas and Islamic Jihad. The identified journalists include Anas Jamal Mahmoud al-Sharif, Ala Abdul Aziz Muhammad Salama, Hassam Basil Abdul Karim Shabat, Ashraf Sami Ashur Saraj, Ismail Farid Muhammad Abu Omar, and Talal Mahmoud Abdul Rahman Aruki. Documents recovered in the Gaza Strip reportedly include personnel tables, phone directories, and lists of training courses and salaries. The IDF claim these records provide unequivocal proof of the journalists' military involvement with Hamas and Islamic Jihad. One accused journalist, Ismail Farid Muhammad Abu Omar, was injured months ago, with the documents suggesting his ongoing involvement in terrorism. The Israeli military claims that several identified journalists support Hamas propaganda through their roles at Al Jazeera, particularly in northern Gaza. Al Jazeera has denied these allegations, condemning them and expressing concern that they may be used to justify targeting journalists. The IDF emphasizes the risks of integrating terrorists into international media, alleging that these documents reveal a systematic effort to use journalism as a cover for military activities, a claim not yet verified by external sources. Hassam Basil Abdul Karim Shabat, one of the accused journalists, called the allegations fabricated, claiming they aim to frame journalists in northern Gaza as killable targets. He referenced Ismail al Ghul, another Al Jazeera journalist, asserting that Israel framed him posthumously by falsely claiming he held a military rank at age 10. Shabbat's comments followed his social media post about the catastrophic situation in North Gaza, where civil defense operations have ceased. He reported that Israeli forces arrested personnel, destroyed the only fire truck, and that three workers targeted by a drone are missing. The journalists contend that North Gaza is being wiped out, leaving the area without medical staff, ambulances, or emergency services. Journalists in Gaza face significant risks from Israeli airstrikes, famine, and mass displacement, impacting 90% of the population. The Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, is investigating over 130 additional cases of violence against journalists. CPJ program director Carlos Martinez de la Serna noted that each death or arrest represents a loss of truth. Under international law, journalists are considered civilians and are protected from being deliberately targeted in conflict zones. Both Hamas and Israeli leaders face allegations of war crimes, with the International Criminal Court investigating potential violations. The Committee to Protect Journalists and the United Nations have called for the protection of media personnel and condemned attacks on the press during the Gaza conflict.